Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Open Mic Night, live at the Zoom Bar DC. We've got a great show for you tonight. We've got Bill Sherman, Joseph Stegner, and me, your host, Marie Louise Merville, and happy Halloween out there. And Bill Sherman is going to kick us off, so take it away, Bill. Happy Halloween, everybody. That and Thanksgiving, my two favorite holidays. Every day, every day I've got the blues, every day, every day I've got the blues, when you see me worried, baby, well, it's you I'd hate to lose, nobody loves me, nobody seems to care, Nobody loves me, nobody seems to care. We're talking about worried and bad luck, mama. Well, you know I've had my share every day, every day, every day, every day, yeah, every day, baby. Every day. suitcase and I'm going to move it on down the line I'm going to pack up my suitcase I'm going to move it on down the line where well, there ain't nobody worried and the show ain't nobody crying every day 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 Sorry about that. That was that. awesome. That sounded great. Well, thank song. you. My 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 range is somewhat limited. I I can't go the places I want to go. Well, you're taking me where I want to go. Um, Say it again. The dance floor. You're taking me where I want to go, which is out on the dance floor. So I'm happy. Oh well, that's a good thing. Just a minute here, I gotta do that, yeah, okay. The rain's so swift, the rain won't lift, the gate won't close and the railing's froze. Get your mind off winter time, cause you ain't going nowhere.
they said the morning came and the morning went so I'll pack up my suitcase and pick up my tent but I still ain't going nowhere ooh riding me head tomorrow's the day that my bride's gonna come I said up oh no but we gonna fly down in that easy chair Khan, he could not keep all his kings supplied with sleep. So we'll climb that hill, no matter how steep. But when we get up to it, ooh, we riding behind. Tomorrow's the day that my bride's gonna come. I said, Well, no, we gonna fly down in that east. Hey, Bill. Thank you. That was awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. By the way, by the way, I want to send. Uh, I want to send uh, my. my uh, I'm, I'm not quite sure how to put it, but uh, I want to send my deepest regards to uh, Steve Woolwine, uh, who um, had, I, I had a little medical problem um, last weekend, uh, and I hope he's on the mend. Yes, oh, thank you, Bill. He's he's at home, so. Yeah, yeah. 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 So he's on the mend? Yeah, he's on the mend, but he's gonna have to. He's gonna have to take it easy for a little while. Yeah, he's gonna have to take it easy for a little while. What happened? Injury or illness? Um, we don't have to talk about it. Yeah, I didn't want to get into want to what it was. It I just here, wanted but, to but let thanks, him know Bill. that my heart he, is with him. Yeah, yes, sure. our heart is with him, and yep. he will be yep. back soon. We hope. Yeah. <laughs> Good thoughts. But thanks, Phil. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, Joseph, do you have a poem? Do you I sure do. <laughs> Yay. It's Halloween. Yay. So, today I sat down for that purpose to bring a ghost story that I heard as a kid to life. And uh, here we go. So, and is the background music okay? My neighbor's starting the party, and uh, is it interrupting? Sounds like no. Okay. Some find fun in horror when they know that it's not real, aware it's only a portrayal as they perhaps dig into a meal. This is Halloween, and so what fun would reading this be if it did not give you goosebumps to question the shadows you see? We know the night is when predators prowl with the cover of darkness their cloak. This is a retelling of tragedy, which began as a harmless joke. The children were barely teens when they set out that moonlit night into the graveyard of the French cat. There, at the stroke of midnight, their unaware parents slept. Joey was a prankster. Mischief was his thing. He never meant anyone harm, but found fun in the trouble he'd bring. Let me warn you before proceeding. This night for Joey did not end well, as he anticipated laughter by pretending to open the gates of hell. There was a buried witch in the graveyard. At least that's the label murderers used when they loathed her independence above the rank of the abused. Of course, they called it something else to keep the spirit of control, so they described her in such a way that judgment condemned her soul. She was burned alive at the stake for the pleasure of monstrous men who pretended they were ordained to be the hand of commandments ten. The crime was almost forgotten until the records were found of why the stake was hammered down 
with kindling wood placed all around. Minds of the day were led to believe that God was a man who made men, and women were just to obey until God returned someday again. When a woman spoke with light to correct an arrogant path, instead of humble repentance, the hearts of men would fill with wrath. So it was within this town where New England autumn chilled, the young men went to the grave of an innocent woman who was killed. The young boys had found a spell book in the rafters of a barn beneath a layer of dust with cobwebs thick as yarn. They were giddy with excitement over the novelty of the find and wondered if the spells would work or were a fictional ruse of the mind. This would be the night they found out while the moon was full and bright with the passing of ominous clouds that made made them all stand still when gravestones disappeared from sight. In the silver blue hue of the moon's return, they found the tombstone they sought. They prepared for the incantation like the instruction said they ought. This must be read by the light of the moon with the holder's blood on the sword before it is thrust into the grave to welcome the spirit of death's ancient lord. Johnny was part of the posse, engaging in his harmless fun. He snuck out his father's Civil War sword from its mount above a musket-type gun. How will you get your blood on the blade? How will you get your blood on the blade? Todd asked as they remedy as they readied to read. Above the mark Joey made for his only blood brother, he slid the long edge till it started to bleed. They heard a distant crack of thunder with a long, slow rolling growl, followed by the spooky sound of all dogs beginning to howl. With all my might, I thrust this blade into the bowels of the earth to make the whole world tremble from the sight of evil's birth. And he slammed that sword down. The sky was darkening as he recited before he said his final word. With that last sentence complete, the grunt of his mighty thrust was heard. A few of his friends began to giggle until they heard Joey's blood-curdling scream. It sounded like the witch clawed out of the grave and grabbed Joey's jacket by the seam. It was now pitch black in this hell on a hill where his friends felt helpless and scared when it sounded like Joey was snuffed of his breath. Stick around, not a single soul dared. The moon reappeared, but they were too scared to look back, just thankful that light now lit up their track. They all split their own directions and, splint and sprinted for their homes, wailing as they burst through the door that they thought their friend was no more. Bolting from their sleep, the parents raced to hear what had their child crying as they cued the worst of fear. Cops were called and flashlights grabbed, and they hurried to the scene of where it was the mischievous friends last heard their good friend scream. Through the fog of exhaled breath, a body could be seen with hand outstretched for rescue, with pale face locked in a scream. The shine of a glimmering sword buried halfway to its hilt would dance across the tombstones when flashlights on the blade would tilt. What his friends thought was a clawing witch was Joey's feet and desperate kicks to escape what held him in place, the way that fear in the mind quickly tricks. Joey had stabbed the hem of his jacket, a well-made and sturdy long coat, the kind that a sailor would wear to block the wind on the deck of a boat. When he tried to get up after thrusting the sword, he panicked when he felt the strong tug thinking the spell had succeeded to release some demon-like bug. The look of horror on his face was frozen and sincere. Unbeknownst to him, he would die from self-induced fear. Children went to play a game to bring evil into view. It was unfortunate that feigned intention became exactly what they would do. 
It was meant as innocent fun to play with the devil and run. But on that horrid Halloween night, their joy would be swallowed to none. It was thought perhaps a story until the records had been found of both the murdered woman and kid who pinned his life to the ground. The end. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Ooh, that spooked me out. Oh, that's fabulous. That was sensational. That was a great Halloween poem. Thank you. There you wow. go. I just put out my another my next public domain periodical today. It's number forty-four for the year. Woohoo! That one's when in did there. you write the Halloween story? Today. Today? Yeah. Sitting oh here my under God. the tree. Sitting right where I am a few hours ago. <laughs> That's incredible. It sounds like a classic, like a Dr. Yeah, it does Seuss. sound like a classic. That's a great Halloween that, poem. That yeah, is a great all sitting right here along with about five other poems today. Maybe you should make that one uh, you know, get paid for that one. <laughs> yeah, you should get paid for that one, yeah. Yeah, I think you should get paid for that one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You could, you could make a, uh, yeah, you know, like a Dr. Seuss cartoon story about it. That's great. <clears throat> Excuse me. You made that. All right, that's um, all for me. Happy so Halloween, so. everyone. <laughs> um, Bill, do you want to do a couple more, and then I'll do let's, mine. Let's let's see what I got here. Okay. You gotta help me. Can't do it all by myself. You gotta help me, mama. Can't do it all by myself. And if you won't help me, baby, I gotta find somebody else. I might wash. I might sew, I might cook, you know, I might even mop your old floor. But you gotta help me, mama. Can't do it all by myself. And if you won't help me, honey, I gotta find somebody else. Now when I walk, you walk with me. And when I talk, you gotta talk with me, honey. Yeah, baby. Can't do it all by myself And if you won't help me, baby I gotta find somebody my night shirt and put on your morning gown bring me my night shirt baby put on your morning gown well you know I ain't sleeping I just feel like lying down you gotta help me baby can't do it all by myself you gotta help me mama do it all by myself and if you won't help me baby i gotta find somebody else and if you won't help me baby i gotta find somebody else and if you won't help me mama i gotta find somebody else
for you can cry me a river cry me a river cause I cried a river over you then you said you were sorry Being so untrue Well you can cry me a river Cry me a river Cause I cried a river over you You drove me near drove me out of my mind and you never shed a tear remember I remember all that you said you said that love was too plebeian and you were through with me and now you tell me that you love me Well, even if it's true I want you to cry me a river Cry me a river Cause I cried a river over you It's true I want you to cry me a river, 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 cause I, I cry a river over you. That was a nice version. Of that. Well, it, you, thank you. It, it, you my voice it. made me change how I do it. <laughs> oh, okay. That was great. Yeah, it thank was. you. Thank you, Bill. Okay. Indeed, good song. Marie Louise. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, for your poetic pleasure, may I please introduce. The one and only, the dynamic, the brilliant, beautiful, the refreshing, the inspirational Marie Louise Merville. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, okay. This is a debut. School is so cruel, school is so cruel. Work, 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 yell, 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 test, test, test. Teacher's so mean, teacher's so mean. Never good enough, never good enough. Tired every day, never get my way. Gotta get some sleep, gotta get some sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Wanna sleep, wanna sleep. Barely holding on, barely holding on. When they gonna listen to me? Told them, told them. Need more time, need more time. Wouldn't listen, wouldn't listen. Wouldn't listen to me. When they gonna listen to me? I was sick that day. When they gonna listen to me? Hungry all the time, don't have time to eat. Rushing, rushing, rushing. Gotta get to school, gotta get to school. Study, 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 study. They think I'm a fool. But I'm not a fool. I am good enough. I am smart enough. I am good enough. I am smart enough. Don't like your stupid rules. Don't like this cruel school. I'm good enough. I'm smart enough. 
I know how to play. I know how to sing. I know how to dance. I know how to play. I know how to sing. I know how to dance. Give me space. Give me space. Give me space, space, space. Give me time. Give me time. Let me sleep, sleep, sleep. Now, now, now. I know how to play. I know how to sing. I know how to dance. I know how to play. I know how to sing. I know how to dance. Give me space, space, space. Give me time, time, time. Now, now, now. Woohoo! <laughs> I, I, I really, I shouldn't be laughing because I, I, I hear your, I hear and feel your pain. Yeah. 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 You would. Yeah. That's what makes it hit because it strikes for everybody has. Maybe maybe somebody from your admin will be listening in tonight. <laughs> wow. Maybe. Yeah. Other ways to do things besides class, get your class to sing it. What? Get your math class to sing. Get your math I, class to sing gonna... it. Uh, Giving the rules. I'm gonna um. <laughs> say it's off for me. I'm gonna um sing it to them tomorrow. Oh, oh, oh you're gonna, a rebel. <laughs> I'm gonna sing it for my um math class tomorrow. You're a they'll rebel. Like they'll like it. Oh yeah, I've I've yeah. sung to them before since the and they love it when I sing. They keep asking me to sing for them. So I told them I wrote a new song about Hopefully. school so yeah i'll do it tomorrow after the <laughs> and then ask them to write what they feel maybe they could do something too maybe that could be an assignment you know write what you feel here i am this is what i'm feeling i'm putting this out what do you guys think what are you feeling about all this situation yeah i would love it for them to yeah edit it write new verses new do it make it their own dance put yeah. some dance, dance steps to it yeah they could do a lot yeah definitely cool. so we'll we'll see what they do with it yeah good thank you yeah thank you um you're welcome so oh joseph you're on mute for some reason i don't know why yeah i am and i think i'm gonna have to go because the kids are just starting to show up Oh, okay. You all look great. I'm sorry I'm not ready yet, but you look great. Give them some candy for us. All right. Yeah, I hear them all starting to stream by. So. Oh, no worries. It's okay if I check out. I'm yeah. glad I caught your... Did you have another one, Marie Louise? No, that was it. Thanks. Thanks, Joseph, and thanks for your great story. Yeah, that was a great poem. Yeah. That was really. amazing. Yeah, I'd like to isolate that if I can. If you send that to me, that'd be great. Love you guys. See you next week. Okay. Take care. See you later, Joseph. Have a nice Hey, Joseph. Bill, do you have any more songs you want to sing? <laughs> or we can call you. it a night. It's up to you. I'm, my voice is really starting to crack up here. So we can adjourn. Okay. That's fine, too. Yeah. And okay. go enjoy Halloween. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks, week. everybody, for another yeah. great open mic night live at the Zoom Bar DC. Yeah. And see you guys next week. Happy yeah. Halloween, everybody. Love y'all. Good luck Love moving. You. Good luck Bye. moving. Thank Take you. care. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. See you next week. See you next week.